let's talk about what's happening during month eight. You're now in the third and final trimester of your pregnancy. Congratulations! Most of the fetus's internal systems are fully developed by now. The lungs still need to mature a lot, and that's why babies born early often need help with breathing. You may notice stronger kicks as your fetus gets stronger and stronger. Watch out for those kicks to your bladder. This is a good time to remind you to empty your bladder frequently and keep those bladder muscles strong. You may notice your uterus is practicing contractions with a light tightening in the abdomen. These are called Braxton Hicks contractions, and they're just warm-ups for the real thing. If you notice these, or you notice stronger contractions happening more than five to six times in an hour, you need to sit or lay down, relax, hydrate, and try to get them to slow down and stop. A warm bath can also slow these down. If they continue past an hour, you should call your doctor or your midwife. By the end of the month, your baby is 17 inches long, approximately, and getting close to around five pounds, maybe the size of a cantaloupe melon. Let's see how you're feeling, both your brain and your body. You're probably noticing quite a few changes at this point in pregnancy. This is a common time to see stretch marks. They might feel itchy and scratchy as your belly starts to stretch to accommodate the growing fetus. Stretch marks may be purple initially, but they'll fade and become much less noticeable. Keep your skin well hydrated and use lotions that you like. Sadly enough, there isn't a specific cream that can prevent stretch marks. On the positive side, your hair stops falling out during pregnancy, so it's probably looking extra thick and healthy. One last note, this is a great time to create a birth plan and share it with your provider and doula if you have one. A birth plan is a great tool for opening a conversation about your desires, your fears, your hopes regarding your birth. It's great to include what you're planning to use to cope and who will help and support you during the birth and afterwards. The birth plan builder in this app can help you make a great birth plan. This is also a good time to check in with your partner to see how they're doing. The non-birthing parent may have thoughts, concerns, and feelings about the transition to parenthood. It's really a big change for everyone.